and welcome to another video. Um, on this one we are having an exclusive look at F1 2022, uh, specifically the Miami track. There's things coming along later on which uh, I'll be able to show you a little bit more about the game. Um, this has been given to me uh, thankfully by uh, the EA Creator Program uh, and an exclusive look uh, via them so thank you to those guys. So uh, in this video it is literally just going to be the Miami track which is the, the buzz at the minute, that's where the, we are racing this weekend. I'm in the McLaren car uh, as always, uh, just because they're, they're my team. Um, so we're going to do uh, a lap slow um, and then we'll, we'll pick it up and I'll, I'll just show you around. And it's, it's a little bit of a blend, um, a lot of people have been saying it's about a bit like Saudi Arabia. I'd also uh, say it is a little bit like Baku as well, with the quite long straights but then it gets very very technical and you're going to see shortly and I'll point it out to you the bits that are very, very tricky with this track. So let's get to the track and uh, I'll show you uh, what we've got. So the new version of the game looks really, really nice. It's nice to race these uh, new cars too. So let's get to the start finish. Like I said, we're just going to do it a nice, easy lap. Um, so your DRS detection points about here. Uh, so this is the start finish straight. And then first corner. And some of this track is, is a lot tighter than what it looks on, on TV. So it'll be interesting to see what the race is going to be like later. Uh, and then it picks up speed here. And this is where I think it's four, five and six are just pretty much flat out. And then a little bit of a downshift for this bottom there. Big chicane, if you like, and then it tightens up again. It tightens up again. I think that's the stadium on our left hand side. Um, it does make me laugh with the little bit uh, where they, they've got the fake marina. So, as you can see, there's, there's you know, bits, quite a lot of space on these, these back straights, and it is a, a fast, fast track. So, we're just on the opposite side of the stadium. And this is where we're going to start getting into the, the technical bits of the track. So you've got left under here, and it just kind of snakes around. And go again, and then it goes again. This is where I think Carlos and a few people have lost it recently. And this bit, and, and on this on the um, show, that's actually not grass. That's that's covered up, uh, which I'm sure they'll tweak for the release. And then it comes around here, and then you're onto that back straight where it. First starts you off on your um, uh, flying lap. So we're going to take it a little bit more speed this time. Uh, you can lap that bit. Watch me. I'm, it's hard to get a quick lap around here. I'm finding um, just to get used to the game. Uh, the cars do feel a little bit different. So flat out down here. I think this is about fourth, maybe third gear corner, it's very easy to lose traction uh, and spin out, it's just in a few practices that I've had, uh, a little bit of downshift there, downshift here, I'm going to go, that's out again, oh, there we go, just a tiny bit too much on the throttle. A lot, a lot of the races have been losing it on this track, and I can see why. Uh, for me, it's just because I'm getting used to these newer cars. Uh, they have got a lot of dirt offline and things like that to contend with. Uh, here we go back into the very tricky part here. So it goes around here, and then it's very much like some of the corners. Uh, I'm sure that time, but. Like, you're going very slow. I think it is going to be one of those tracks where, oh shit, you don't want to be doing that, that's for sure. I think that is what they're dubbing the Wall of Champions, have we? Um, but it's definitely one of those tracks where they're, um, the slower you go, the better you're going to do around it, especially in those technical bits. Obviously these bits are flat out, uh, relatively easy, uh, so you can get a clean lap in. This time, 
bit early into that corner. Never mind. Shouldn't compromise us too much. And it's knowing whether you go high down or not high down force for this, but a bit more down force on to take some off to get better around the corners when you're going to lose the straights. Very, very interesting how they're going to do it. Great track to drive around though. Loads of fun. And for anyone listening that is aware of this bit of a joke, I'm not just I've got my underwear on there on top of what I'm wearing like that. <laughs> uh, for free practice one I think it was, which was interesting. What a guy. open. You just have to be so careful on the throttle around these corners. If you want to just give it some I keep invalidating my lap around there when I do go around so this is what I caught that last time. Nearly did it again. So I'll do a few laps just for you guys to get flavour, just so I can show you, um, and then uh, next week I can show you a little bit more about the game, uh, and tell you about a few different bits, I attended a, like a, a virtual press event for the game, so well, they could tell us a bit um, about it, what's coming up, which is all good fun, lots of exciting stuff. So brave to get the throttle down and not let the, the back end kick out. It's happened to me several times in this video. Ooh. Too much curve then. So one more lap, uh, and I'll uh, leave you guys to it. Oh, trying to lock up into that corner. So I'm using my Logitech wheel at the minute. It's just what happened to be on my little collapsible rig. Feeling a bit faster this time. No way I can get anywhere near uh, the times the F1 drivers are doing. I guess with a bit more practice, I might get there like some of those esports guys, but some of those guys are just stupidly quick. And I can't use that other, other camera, Jesus. to try and get a bit better at catching the ghosts up, which is nice. But here we are, the brake seems to help then. And I do think that today's race is going to be anyone's, and I've just cut that corner. No, I didn't. Ah! Tell you what, let's do one lap. Uh, this is the. I'm not very good at this camera. Let's see. Oh god. Hot tyres now. Right, let's do one lap of this. Let's see if we can
completely not concentrating then. I have said there isn't any porpoising on this game, I will tell you that. Uh, they've not managed to get it in because they didn't know it was going to be a thing, but let's take you for a lap in this view. And then we'll end the video and then hopefully we'll have some more. Uh, next week we'll be able to tell you a little bit more about the game, show you some of the other tracks and things. side I'm not sure what it thought it was doing but so this is probably more common camera for a lot of you not bad for you to be fair I just like to be in cockpit I like the full thing Easy to get around that bit, that's for sure. So there we have it, that is the Miami Grand Prix, I um, hope you've enjoyed a look at a few of the laps around this track, uh, enjoy the race later on uh, and then next week we'll have a few more videos or just one big video just looking at some of the new bits that are coming to the game and then later on when it's released we will uh, do a few more video setups and things like that and so until next time guys thank you very much for watching the video, if you enjoyed it, found it informative, whatever, give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, let me know uh, what you're looking forward to in the next game, what you think of the Miami track. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.